All right, what's up, chat? And welcome to day 106. Now, this is different because I don't got school until like, what, seven, six or seven hours. I never did this before. So I'm going to go to sleep. So literally, this is before I wake up. Okay. But. I told you all about the egg drop. I said I was going to record a sequence of me making it, but I decided not to because it, we did it last minute, me and my mom. But here it goes right here. I want to show y'all. This is it right here. You know, I need that good thumbnail. Um, now, we're going to drop it from the top of the stairs. But I want to tell y'all, I named it. This whole project that I'm doing it, I'm calling it the Project of Little Elmer. This whole contraption is called the, the, the Tesseract of Little Elmer. Then that little white capsule, that white capsule, that is called the Capsule of Little Elmer. And the egg that's inside it, the egg itself, is Little Elmer. Why did I name it after Little, or why did I name it Little Elmer? My dad would know. You have to ask my dad. And you probably will never get in contact with him. Look at this. I found the, it's not even a way of cheating. But I just thought of something. We go drop it, right? Can't have no air resistance or like, it can't have wings or parachutes because that can catch air. But look, I got a string, right? Look at this. The string is right here. It's a durable string, it's yarn. And basically my plan is Everybody's go drop it like this from, it's gonna be like two stories, or no, it's one story up. You walk up the stairs, then you walk up the stairs again, so it's go like this, that's one level. It's like half a level. You know how stairs we have in that little platform. Then you go up, then you can see down onto second level from the third level, okay? We go throw it down, let's go hit the second level. I'm, everybody go do this. I'm gonna try as my teacher, what if I can get the string and lower it some so it has less air time? You know what I'm saying? I told my mom that and she's like, yeah. So let me read y'all the rules. If the egg, this project is 100 point, it's a 100 point assignment. Egg survives with no cracks or damage equals 50 points. Eggs is cracked, egg is cracked, but intact, 45 points. Egg has lost its innards, 40 points. And if student uses more than what's on the list, because there's a list of supplies, that's 30 points. And if the student doesn't participate or tries to cheat the system, zero points, chief. Why did we create a cube? Everybody is creating like, it looks like a rocket putting straws in the egg on top. My mom, she looked at this and I was like, wait, yeah, that's good, let's use that. Because it makes sense. It's a cube. First of all, there's a cube that's inside a cube. That's how this is right here. Now, you gotta think about it. I seen a TikTok where this dude has like had like an unbreakable helmet, right? He he banged it so many times it wouldn't break. And multiple people, almost a whole entire comment section, said it's supposed to break. Because when you get in a crash, normal helmets break. So all that impact, I guess, don't go to your head or stuff. It makes sense, but at the same time, it don't make sense. I don't know the full physics behind it. But if it don't break, the helmet don't break, all of that impact will you feel on your head. I'm kind of using that in mind. So you got to think about it. It's even, almost, it's basically almost even. Let's just say it's even on all sides, almost even, because it's a square. So the square goes down, and plus since it's big, it's going to go down because all this extra space, one, is all this extra space. Two, it's made out of straw so it could likely break. You would kind of want that. You want it to kind of break. So, because there's this cup in there still. Hopefully, he said it's today. I'm pretty sure it's today. Um, also, we already got the egg in there. He said he would provide us with one. It, it, it says he, I don't know if we can use our own though. I'm hoping we can use our own. It says... One white, large, or extra large chicken egg. No, it may not be small, brown, blue, speckled, rainbow, etc. Does it make a difference? I don't know, but the answer is no. You may not use any other type of egg other than one white, large, or extra large unboiled egg. I will supply the eggs the day of the competition. So he said he will supply them. I don't know if we... It, it, bro, 
I'll even show y'all right now. I'll show y'all the proof. Because he might want to look at the video to make sure it's a white egg. I understand that. Mr. Uh, you know your name. I'm not going to say your name. Where is it at? Right here. Uh, you know I don't lie. Only on occasions. I'm not the devil either. All right. Right here. You see that? It says 12 large white eggs. You said white. You said large. It's packing. All right. You're welcome, TK. If that, I feel like he's he want proof. I feel like he's going to want proof. So just show him this video. Okay. Get back to work and win that competition. I'm going to go chat. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Also, I got a vid on the way. I got multiple vids on the way. What am I talking about? Okay. I'll see you in a minute. Also, I'm about to go. I'm about to go to school. But here are the comments. Shout out to those people for my last vlog. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I'll see you at school. All right, chat. So, we got Doritos Flamas and uh, Doritos Cool Ranch. I got these two. Also, by the way, this is not... We're doing this Thursday, not today. And today's Tuesday. We got this night and that. I'll take these. I'm eating these three. Uh, the, the rest can go. I'm not doing it. They can't make me. Like, what is that? This is a PB and J. I'm not doing Also, the governor is coming to our school today. Hopefully, uh, he can, like, give me a shout-out or something. Like, Mike DeWine, that's our governor. So, hopefully, I don't know. I'm going to try to take a picture with him. I'm going to be like, I'm your biggest fan. I've been following. <laughs> nah, I don't know what to do. But I'll go ask for a picture. It'll be a thumbnail. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's later after. Um, it's later in the day. It's actually later. So much later in the day. That's actually the next day. It's in the a.m. So it's like around 5 a.m. My sleep schedule's off. The thing about me, you consider me a night owl, I think. I just took a shower, just put lotion on. I just put a lotion on my body, my caramel macchiato body. Um, but yeah, you would consider me a night owl because... You would probably consider me insomniac for real because uh, my sleep is just my sleep schedule is just so off. Uh, I, I don't know, but yeah, yeah. Basically, I got my schedule. I'm working on my schedule. I'm about to get some donuts, man. Also, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna start talking quicker. I'm gonna start talking quicker instead of doing this. I know I do this a lot. It's gonna be like this. More confidence, and I notice TikTok is poisoning our minds. Okay, I know that sounds like a cliche you could say. Sounds generic, but, but, okay, hold on. TikTok is really is poisoning our minds, okay? This is a reason why it's poisoning our minds. We are so, you, we're getting more used to now short form content and we want to see stuff quick. I've been seeing people put their videos in two times speed. I've been seeing people get 1,000 likes on their comment for saying that they put their stuff on two times speed. So I'm going to start talking faster. As time goes by faster, I guess time on TikTok goes by faster, if that makes sense. I don't get it. All right, so reading. I got to do 12 Angry Men. That's due Friday. Econ, we're doing a test. We haven't turned up the end in a while. We are. We got a test at the end of this week, I think. Honestly, this week is already by, flying by fast because we didn't have school Monday. After Econ, it was psychology, psychology. Our, I was working on the assignment in econ. The thing about psychology, psychology is an easy class, all right? All you got to do is just pay attention and do the notes. That's all it is, man. Just do the notes. I'm talking to y'all. I'm talking to the ones that got those tools as a GPA. You know what I'm saying? I know it's hard, but just keep on going. I am thankful that I got the willpower that I got to keep on going. From generation, from generation... It was passed down to me. And now I got this ball of, of, of willpower. And I want to give it to you through this video, via this video. All right. I was watching some Bob Ross in school today. Uh, I learned more about painting. I learned that those things that they use in art, those are called palette knives, I guess. Uh, the first season, first episode of Bob Ross, he said that he used palette knives. He used... Natural brush, natural brushes, they're one, what did he say? One and a half inch thick, or like one and a half inch to two inches, 
He said something like that. Y'all got to watch the first season, first episode. And then in his episodes, he be using titanium white, thalo green, thalo blue, uh, Van Dyke brown, uh, bright red or something like that, or like permanent red, uh, cad yellow. I'm because if y'all know, I love art. And I feel like the two things you need in life, well, you, you don't need them, but I feel like they're great to have like a good life. Music and art. You know what I'm saying? Music and art, they just go, they go hand in hand. And you know, I said I'm doing all this on one hand. Why do you think I named the song On One Hand, On One Hand? Because I was doing it on one hand. Okay, I got everything on one hand. Say if I got like $1,000, I'm doing all this stuff. This is just on one hand. I got another hand, meaning I can do plenty of other things. I'm just good like that, meaning I'm a multitasker. So that's why it's called on one hand, because I still got the op the other hand open. Physics was physics. Physics was physics. We're doing the egg drop test Thursday. Tomorrow, or well, today, we got a sub. You know what I'm saying? Home room, went down to the library, talked to my boy Jay. Then lunch was lunch. Sadly, she was not there. She's MIA, missing in action, Chief. She was not there. Engineering was engineering. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what else y'all want me to say. Also, Mike DeWine came to our school. Like I said, um, the only thing is this man did not visit engineering. I thought it was like the big career techs. I guess they don't consider engineering a career tech. That he visited welding and construction. It was either one or one of those or both. It's probably both of them because I think they're like they're like side to side. I really wanted. I wanted to. You know how cool that would be having a governor in my thumbnail, bro. Automatically, 10k likes or 10k views. That. I mean, I guess the title can still be. Uh, Mike DeWine. And if you don't know who Mike DeWine is, he's the governor of Ohio. That's who he is. I'll put a picture of that man right there. You should have came to engineering, honestly. But that's all I wanted to say. I'm ending it. All right, three, two, one. Hit!